Good hi everybody. Say hi. My name is hi. Lenise and this is Justice Hayes. And um we are going to answer a few questions on dating and it is for Girls for Christ Rock, which I am the founder of it. In October we did a relationship series, so we're going to answer a few questions. Um and forgive Justice and myself, we just got home from um, one of his football games, so he's kind of tired, so we're going to try to do it as quickly as possible. Um, okay, so how long have we been dating? Um, we've been dating for almost two years now. Um, December 24th is actually the date that we first officially started dating. And what's the question? What's the question? That was it. We've been on each other since oh, like been, elementary. Yeah. I was in elementary. I was in the seventh grade. Um, <laughs> so we've been friends, and we kind of saw each other along the way throughout mm -hmm. school. So um, only two years, but we had a friendship before. Um, so do we pray together and go to church together? So. We are in two different states right now. Um, Justice left Michigan this summer um, to come to Mississippi. So we're not able to physically like go to church or pray together. But we try to pray with each other and pray for each other. Um, I know I pray for him all the time. I pray for myself and our relationship all the time. Um, and I know like when I go to church, I'll... Like, sometimes tell them, you know, how I felt about service that day and um, so forth. So, I mean, when we are together, we do pray together and go to church. But, you know, circumstances right now, um, we just do what we can. And I do the same thing um, that she mentioned. I pray for her, pray for myself, um, pray daily. And um, I do what I can, you know, and when we eventually do come together and be in the same state or song, we'll be able to go to church together and, you know, and pray as a family. But we do what we can, so. Um, okay, so how do we handle conflict? So I was telling him I can only talk from a female's point of view. Um... I used to not handle conflict very well. We used to actually argue a lot about um, things that I particularly didn't agree with or um, didn't like. And um, just going forward in our relationship, I found that those were my personal issues that I needed to deal with. And I had to realize that I couldn't place them all on him. Um, so, I mean, now I just pretty much just talk to him about it or try to bring it up in a non-confrontational way. Um, I don't, I try not to have an attitude with him about it. Um, I mean, conflict is, is natural. It's, it's going to happen. Um, but I'm just realizing now I try to just um, more so talk than, than assume. And I think I'm doing better, but... Um, I don't know. Um, my perspective, um, like she said, conflict is going to happen and you're going to bump heads. But at the end of the day, you know, when you love somebody, you know, it's kind of it's kind of petty in a way. I, I think, you know, I have other things that I have to uh, worry about in terms of like, you know, my, what I do on a daily basis that really you know, like I said, it, it really is kind of pointless in a way, and it's better to just talk it out, you know, and, and, and come to a, you know, middle ground about the situation, and me and her, we've gotten a lot better, uh, we really don't, well, I'm not going to say we don't argue, but what we do is just, when we do argue, it'll be just one sentence, and then we'll just, you know, move on and, and, and be happy again, and it's healthy for our relationship, so. Um... So, how did we develop trust? Um, it's kind of a tricky question, but I think 
when you have a friendship with someone first before you get into a relationship, you kind of already have that level of trust. You know who that person is as your friend. So um, you'll be a little bit more open to knowing who that person is as as your significant other when you decide to get into a relationship. Um, I think every day that you go into your relationship as it goes on, um, trust is developed every day. I think it's just kind of just how you act in a relationship and how, I don't know like how to really explain it, but I think it's just something that you you just gain every day based on actions and based on um, really honesty and a lot of other things. I don't know really how to answer it. Um, I mean, you pretty much hit it dead on the nose. It's just something that, trust is something that just develops over time, you know, and when you both click, you know, the trust gains more in a way. But, again, it's kind of, like she said, it's kind of a tricky a tricky point, but um, it definitely develop, develops over time, and it has developed with us. You know, we, well, I really, you know, trust her in, in trust many her ways. Too. So it's just something that develops. So um, what do you think the strengths and weaknesses of our relationship are? Um you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? Um, strengths and weaknesses. Uh, one strength I I say I like is um, you know, with with me being down here in Mississippi and, and she's in Michigan. Um, the distance is something that I would say is kind of new in our relationship. Um, even when I was at at Arbor and she and she was in Flint. Um, it still was close, you know, 45 minutes away. It really wasn't, you know, a big deal to get to, um, to Flint or, or vice versa, her coming to Ann Arbor, you know, but with us being so distant and us doing so well, you know, going back to the trust thing, you know, I feel like, um, our trust has, has doubled, you know, even more. And that's why I feel, I feel like it's, um, I feel like that's the reason why we don't argue as much as well um, is because of the trust that we've gained with me being so distant, you know, everything else really doesn't matter, you know, and you know, at the end of the day, you love that person and and you, you will be with that person, you know, through thick and thin and, you know, I know her like the back of my hand, yeah. you know, and she knows me, so, um, you know, Trust, you know, is, is a real big strength, you know, in our relationship. You can touch on, you know, the weakness part. I don't really. What? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I mean, just, well, I was going to say one of our other strengths oh. is our ability to just be best friends. Um, we had a, a um, really strong friendship before um, we decided to date and, um, I think even now, while we are dating, we still are able to be goofy and just be friends and be funny all the time. So, that's a strength. But, um, I mean, a weakness is just communication. I mean, it's hard. We do really good with communication, I think. But, I mean, with us being far apart right now, I mean, it's still kind of hard to give each other um, as much time as, as we would like, I'm, as I would like. I know he's busy a lot, the time difference. Um, I try not to put my my feelings inside of it, but think about how both of us feel. I mean, I, like I said, I think we have good communication skills, but I think just because of our circumstances, um, we could work on trying to make it a little bit better. Um, That's good. So, the last question is, is marriage in the future? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, Don't cough. No, I was really coughing. No, marriage is definitely, you know, in the future. Um, you know, when marriage is a serious topic, before you decide you want to take that step, you got to make sure everything, you know, is in place that you want. Everything is stable financially, spiritually, you know, 
you got to make sure everything is, is is where you want it to be before you take that next step. And a lot of people, um, I can't speak on um, people, but a lot of I feel like a lot of people don't, you know, make sure things are in order, and and, and that's where you know things fail, and you know divorce comes in effect because you know you don't have those those steps in, in place, you know, and but definitely marriages in the in in the future near future you know um you just gotta you gotta make sure everything is in place first that's and my perspective <laughs> i mean ladies we can't just yeah. make the decision that's so me, but, uh, i'm just that's following all. if this is who god wants me to be with and if i'm who god wants him to be with then you know it'll happen but it'll happen in Steps. god's time so yeah. um I did forget one question. I mean, we we kind of will touch on it a little bit in um in our blog post, but um since the topic of it is real relationship goals, um we talked about um previously in some other um interviews with um some couples on dating with purpose and being married with the same goals and so the last the last and final question is um do we share the same relationship goals um i think so i mean i definitely you know wanted to have a friendship with someone that i was with um i mean the main goal was to incorporate god and um i feel like we both we do that um i mean we're dating with purpose there it's not just dating just to date um so i mean i think we have a lot of what are your what are your goals um like you said like i have a plan while i'm dating while i'm dating lanice um it's not like she said it's just not like i'm just dating her and it's i don't know what the future is you know i'm trying to Again, to the last question, I'm trying to put things in place, you know, and, and and take the right steps to take my relationship and not not just my relationship, but but myself, you know, further. You know, I'm getting older now, 22, about to be 23 in a month. Um, I'm I, I'm just trying to you know better myself spiritually, you know, physically, and and, and trying to make myself a better man. You know, and with that, you know, comes marriage and, and comes relationships, but you got to take the right steps. And, and, and Lanice feels the same way that I feel in terms of um, physical, mental, and spiritual growth. And that, that, that all ties in together. That's how, that's how I feel about the situation. So, with that being said, um some just one tip of advice um to young dating couples um just if you don't already have a relationship with god or um if it's not that strong just try to fit that in um try to encourage the person you're with to fit that in um communicate um and just just develop purpose. I mean, just know what why why are you in the relationship? Why, you know, discover goals and I mean, the main thing when you're in a relationship if it is for a purpose is um your job is to help that help that other person grow and help that person succeed. Um, mentally, spiritually, in all aspects. Um, I know I try to do everything that I can to make sure that um, his life is um, better each day, you know, whether it's by praying or, you know, doing what I can. So, I mean, just encouraging the person you're with and just staying positive. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she touched on everything, but you don't have to be, you know, discouraged either. You know, everybody's not perfect. Um, I'm not perfect. And that's why, you know, spiritually, you know, I, not just me, but us as a couple, 
you know, try to grow spiritually, you know, because I'm not perfect, she's not perfect, nobody's perfect, but, you know, as long as you're trying, my perspective, as long as you're trying, you know, you can't, sorry, sorry, I'm tired, you guys. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna be done soon. He he had a long, but, a long um, game, so Yeah, just you know, just just try, man. That's that's all I have to say about it. So this was our little relationship in a nutshell and I thank you for being a trooper. Um no recording after a game for me because I had we had to do this. So um check out our blog and um yeah, tune in out. Goodbye.